Caroline, quite a sense of occasion this evening. Absolutely. The audience members are just starting to arrive now. There's two and a half thousand of them coming to this very special Friday night is music night. And for fans of aircraft and fans of music, it really is uh, the perfect combination and promises to be uh, a very special commemoration. And it all started earlier today with a very special arrival. We heard it before we saw it. The unmistakable growl of the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight Lancaster bomber, touching down at Biggin Hill, carrying Radio 2 breakfast host Chris Evans, who met up with his radio colleague Jeremy Vine, broadcasting his show live. It was glorious, and it was it was ironically and eerily peaceful, because I, I flew at the front there in the bomb aimer's position, and you actually have to lie down on your front, so it's actually quite relaxing. Well, it was for me, I'm sure it wasn't back in the day. It was 70 years ago that 19 Lancaster bombers carrying the lethal bouncing bombs took off to destroy the dams of Germany's Ruhr Valley. Eight never returned. Yeah, we're not being shot at when we're flying. We're flying for pleasure. It's an absolute joy to do it. Um, we go home to our families at the end of the day. But the guys 70 years ago were, were flying 60 feet at night being shot at. Wing Commander Gibson VC, who led the great Lancaster raid on the Ruhr dams, escorts the king during a visit by the American But the mission changed the course of the Second World War. It came at the time when people needed a lift. As one of the um, pilots said to me, if we did nothing else, we gave people a lift. In a nearby hangar, rehearsals are in full flow for the largest live music event for the anniversary of this iconic raid. The central band of the RAF with the Military Wives Choir and BBC Concert Orchestra accompanying accounts and memories of the raid, hosted by Dermot O'Leary and Jeremy Vine. They had to go at a certain speed, 240 miles an hour, they had to hit the dam, spin all the way down. I know I'm sounding like a geek here, but it's an amazing story. It's a story of extreme problem solving of exceptional engineering and bravery, and one that lives on. You have to wonder, don't you, whether 70 years ago it even crossed the minds of those crews that that story would still be being told uh, all these years later. Now, tonight it's being billed really as a commemoration, not a celebration, of one of the most enduring stories and raids of World War II. It all starts on BBC Radio 2, 8 o'clock. <laughs>